we're effectively run in this country via the Democrats, via, via our corporate oligarchs, by a bunch of childless cat ladies who are miserable at their own lives and the choices that they've made. And so they want to make the rest of the country miserable, too. And it's just a basic fact. You look at Kamala Harris. Pete Buttigieg, AOC, the entire future of the Democrats is controlled by people without children. And how does it make any sense that we've turned our country over to people who don't really have a direct stake in it? Okay, so here we go. So this is why I don't even know what he's talking about. Wow, well, ladies, doesn't that make you want to go out and vote for him? This guy wants, this is the next guy in line to be president? Absolutely not. Come on, meow. That's a fantastic strategy to pull on women their votes. Advance is a sexist piece of, yeah, that does not even make sense. Funny how he wears, who, yeah, he probably do wear makeup. Um, I want to know who are all the childless, catless ladies, too, but I guess he's, you know, he's. And, and I cannot stand Trump because I think he's a fraud. <laughs> well, I think he's a total fraud that is exploiting these I people who is a total fraud. That I, I agree with you on Trump because I don't think that he's the person. I I, I don't think he actually cares about folks. But I I, I think that that I, I'm 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 going to vote for I'm going to vote third party because I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. And and okay, so here we go. What does he know about why a woman decides to be a mom or childless? What does he know about women who want children but can't have any? The audacity of crowning himself authority to judge us that is why he has no business being in a position of power. Like, who is this dude? I never even oh, well said, I agree 100%. Who is Matt Jones? <laughs> he is a podcaster, radio guy from Kentucky, like Vance. He also graduated from law school. I don't know if either ever practiced law. Um, yeah, Vance is a brown nose hypocrite. And like, like this person was like, this is the absolute truth about DJ, uh, Donald Trump, because it is everything that he said. However, how is he going to run, be a running mate to somebody he doesn't even like, as we say in Ireland, what a 42 face liar. And then somebody's going to bring up the 25th. So if you've watched The Boys, then you understand what the 25th means. So is are they trying to get J.D. Vance as his running mate so that way J.D. Vance can then take over presidency over Trump? Okay, this should be replayed day in and day out on MSNBC. I have given up on that rag, now posing as left leaning while giving a steady dose Republican propaganda every day. Where are the White House ads? And that goes back to the the taking the twenty fifth. Um, don't tell the dog. Cat lady against Trump. That makes him more of a dirt bag. Um, has Vance been groomed by our wannabe um, oligarchs to take Trump's place after they enact the twenty fifth? And that's if you you have to go and look at look that up. Um, but that was on the boys, which in real relates to in real life so much if you've ever watched it. So <laughs> it's crazy. But it says, well, this childless cat lady is pretty damn happy with her life and prefers not to have any more rights taken away. The media's, um, no, no, what is that? Oh, that's for them. They always put an ad in through, uh, people post ads in between uh, tweets on a specific post that's not even related. It's crazy. Um, this is funny because no one, and I mean no one, whines and complains more than these dudes. It's their whole life. The European press is saying that Trump made a strategic mistake picking fans because he brings nothing to the table. He won't bring voters on the fence or minorities to the ticket. Vance is the Orban running mate for Trump, handpicked by Tucker Orban's press secretary because Trump is a puppet. He doesn't know how to pick his own people. Oh, I'll leave it up for, you know, I mean, wow. Yeah. I mean, this is a joke. Politicians, politics is a joke. It's a game and you have to know how to play it. I'm old to remember when Hillary Clinton was destroyed by the media and Republicans for supposedly saying she was better than stay at home moms. Yet J.D. Vance is literally calling people who choose not to have children or can't as trying to make everyone miserable. He's a piece of, yeah, pretty much. Um, taxpayers are taxpayers regardless if they have children or not. So you can't uh, force a group of people not to speak on, you know, issues. I mean, besides the 